when you go to school, a lot of times you, especially in engineering, civil engineering, you, you don't know exactly which field you want to get into. You don't know what, what's out there. You need a little bit of experience in all of it because civil engineering is kind of a jack of all trades. You need to know over 3,000 people died on Texas highways last year. We need to think about that. Over 3,000 people are dying every year on Texas highways. So you have a huge responsibility as an engineer. Any area, not just engineering, but all the areas need to have a development program. I wish I had an opportunity like this when I was coming out of college. Graduates of this group, you can look around, are applying for jobs internal to this district and are being very successful at achieving uh, supervisory positions. And that's exactly what we want to happen. That's our ultimate goal. Coming out of school, the training element is, is huge, taking theory and putting it in practice. Our engineering assistance career development program is, is uh, vital to the development of our staff and our young engineers so that they can be the leaders uh, in the department for tomorrow. And the more well-rounded that they are, then the better they're going to do and the more success they're going to have uh, in, in working through their department and moving up the ladder and taking on responsibility, moving into managerial positions within the department. I think it's important early on that you don't get siloed into one, one area because you need the experience at, uh, at design, construction, maintenance in order to determine where your strengths really lie and where your interests lie. I think a, a, an engineer that likes what he's doing is going to be a lot more productive than someone that we say, well, we, we've got an open in traffic ops and that's your only opportunity is to go work in traffic ops. Well, that may or may not be their specialty. The engineering assistant program in Dallas is, uh, is unique to TxDOT. It's a mandatory program for all engineering assistants coming to the Dallas district. What makes it unique is that everybody comes in together. Everybody goes through the same process. Our EAs come in with a, with a commitment that they will enroll in a four-year program. We try to get them exposed to a project that has all aspects from drainage to bridges to retaining walls to pavement to earthwork, uh, a job that will kind of get them well-rounded and get them more exposure. Um, to all aspects of construction. After they finish the 18 months, they come to uh, traffic operations and they get exposed to signs and signals and um, uh, uh, that type of work. Um, it's a really good program in the sense that everybody's given the same opportunity to excel. The program is very important, uh, in my opinion, in giving every engineering assistant an equal opportunity at experience. Uh, what I found when I started looking at, at the program back in 06 uh, is that some people had not rotated. Uh, some people had taken almost every training class that was offered at the department. Other people hadn't been to hardly any training. And so I feel like it's important that, that in those first four years that everybody get an equal opportunity at experience and at training then when they get their license, they're ready to compete for jobs uh, uh, in the district. I really enjoyed the rotation program. It's just been able to show me all the different aspects of TestDOT and really just give me an opportunity to see all the different things that are available to me. I knew that I wanted to do design, but I definitely believe that having this construction experience is gonna make me a better designer. One of the great things about the EA program that we have in Dallas is that every EA is assigned a mentor. Um, one of the uh, you know, mentors are usually a district engineer or a deputy district engineer or one of the directors or one of the high level area engineers or supervisors. I meet with the uh, people I mentor uh, once every two months for about an hour. Uh, it gives us a great opportunity to get, in, get to know each other on a personal basis, but also to talk about what they're working on now and what they're going to be working on in the future. If you want to be a designer, you can choose to do that. If you want to go back to construction, you can wait for an opportunity to be open in that area and you can apply for it. And if you want to be in the traffic operations side, you can also do that. And as you get the training in each one of those elements, you become a much better engineer for a farm and they start tying each other together. You're constantly learning. You're, you're, you're learning from feedback one-on-one -on -one from your supervisor. You're learning from your mentors. You're learning from, from doing actual design hands-on yourself. We're going to throw you to the walls. 
we're not gonna we're not gonna hold anything back you know we're gonna push you to excel we're gonna push you to overachieve but in the, by no means are we leaving you alone there we're gonna give you all the tools all the training uh, that you need to do your job and to excel and uh, to make a future and name for yourself whether it's here at Textile or with a different district or in the private sector if you so choose Coming out of uh, college, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. I'd have to say construction was probably not on the high part of my list. I wasn't quite sure about it, but when I got out there, I really loved it. I, uh, I enjoyed being out there and seeing things got built, and now that's where I work. Um, I do that every day, so it was, it was good to find that out and point me in the right direction. Get hands-on experience in those areas so that you you become valuable not only in textile, but in, in the outside world, much more valuable. I was able to see design. Um, construction and traffic operations so you're able to see all aspects and kind of decide what you really want to do. Some of our graduates, uh, one of them is um, uh, the project engineer for the Horseshoe Design Build Project. Uh, it's an 800 million dollar project. Uh, one of our graduates is an, an area engineer. Uh, another graduate is an assistant area engineer. Uh, another graduate is a, a supervisor of our project delivery office and manages all our consultants. I think it helps everyone be more diverse, have knowledge about everything we do, not just one, um, one aspect of what we do at Texada as an engineer. Mm -hmm.